Hello! Michael here. We're gonna play some Game of Thrones Telltale adventure game thing. Just a warning. Spoilers, obviously. Also, probably spoilers for books and the show, too, because I've seen all those things, read all those things. The only thing I haven't read is Princess in the. whatever that one is called. Something about princess, princesses. But I read all the Max and Egg. All the books, everything. So, if you don't want to get spoiled about anything, you probably shouldn't watch this because I'll probably blab about something random if I see something. Okay. Anyway, let's start. I'm not sure what. So, hopefully, we uh, start with episode one. Why is this not starting? Episode one. Do, 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 do. And that's that that right there is why you play telltale games. So if you don't know how stark they are in the north. I have not heard of Forrester, House Forrester. Outside of hearing about that they're in this game. So they're probably in the books, I would assume. But there's no one super important. <laughs> oh, and if you're worried about spoilers, you should probably turn it off like right now. <laughs> if you haven't seen any Game of Thrones. <laughs> The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. It's all bloody. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Ooh, yeah. That's a nice kid. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? I'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest. Oh, don't be an arse, Bowen. <laughs> Apologies, your lordship. I had a hand in it, you know. <laughs> hand in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Sure a hand. A hand round his hand ankle, and others took him down. <laughs> See? What do I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face! You're questioning Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. <gasps> Go on. Get some shrimp. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> See, you gotta be Thank nice you, a little bit. I'll do it. Garrett. Norrin's family. Has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. Oh. Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. Let's get drunk. Is that the Forrester symbol? The Rod Stark, the King in the North. 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 The King. Tomorrow we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Let's all get killed. To Casterly 
rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! The North remembers! Aye! Got it. <laughs> the North Remember is just like this yes, game is supposed to I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick as his father. And I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire it's forever. Be better than squires. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. I won't Thank let you, my lord. I promise. I won't you let you down. Suck it up, that right? I don't it's doubt. All. But for now, keep this between us. <gasps> We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. My lord, my lord. He has two. Bloody hell. <gasps> Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. I just said he was gonna help you. I just told him he was gonna fucking help you. What the fuck, dude? Dude. I was like, Watch sure, no problem. Scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the loo. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, boy. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, what? at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. Awkward! All line around a fucking wedding. Give it time. Awkward. You'll get there. Awkward. Easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my Classy uncle is has Forrester. nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. Called it. He even calls it the Red Wedding? It wasn't the Red Wedding until afterwards. What the fuck? Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. <gasps> Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. They all got shit. Swords. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. That's suspicious. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What's wrong? I've just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. Oh. No, you don't understand. We need to go. Just take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something uh -oh. the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Owen. Save him. <coughs> but what about... What the hell was that about? Slow down, Richard. 
What's the rush? We have to warn the others. Warn them about what? This guy's so stupid. He has the other fucking weapons. Roderick, he's out there by himself. Time, my lord. We can both you get. You must go, my lord. By I... your gods, you will obey me. Remember, he's gonna die soon. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him the North Grove. 
must never be lost. What's in the North Grove? Tell no one but him. Do you understand? Something's you must in the North swear. Grove. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those Only. Only. Wait, oh, should I have to remember that? I have to actually remember house. that. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! <laughs> 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 We love ah, Who gives a fuck that he fucking remembers it? It's just North Grove. Only tell Uncle. So that was for Six Fire. Wait, they reproduced it? Nice, I love how they reproduced it. That's so good. I like that. Those look kind of janky. <laughs> He already, already got fucking this far? Jesus Christ. It's like, we have to go through all the whole deck? Nah, pigs, get it. It's pig joke with the iron farmers. Pig farmers. No, but seriously, how did I walk from the fucking twins through the deck? Uh-oh. Lord. Don't touch it. Press. It's probably from an animal, not a human. Yeah. Huh? What is there any... I do like this. Art. What did I see? Uh-oh. Forester land, or whatever Forester lands we're not, not at. Okay. So it's caught. <laughs> That's father's car. Father's? Shit. Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. And it may be common, but at least still have us bacon. <laughs> Why would you kill him there before you're gonna fucking butcher him? Dumb shits. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <laughs> Father, I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pig. Yeah, draw the song. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? You can try if you like, and then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. Fuck I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> no. I'll have that sword, boy. Fuck off. I. I you'll you'll have, have it. it. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Oh, 
right. Finish this fucking big farmer. Pathetic. You really are a pig. I want some reach. <sighs> In the base! Oh, fuck! Oh shit, I should have saved it for the second one. I didn't know he had his. Why, why are you going at me one on one? Okay, good. Get the sword! Back. Ooh, fuck! Mash it! Mash it! Mash it! Mash it! I pressed it. Oh, that's one death. Malam, <laughs> uh, Malam, Malus. How am I gonna get? Who's laughing at me? I'll be nice. Thank you. Lord Whitehill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Fuck this guy off. Why did I kill? I thought. Why did I? I didn't want to give mercy to that guy. I wanted to give mercy to the good, the little dude, not the. Ugh. Father. Garrett, you survived. Your, your sister. My sister. Oh, she hid. I miss you. I tried to stop them. She get raped. No, Dad died already. Well, this I'll sucks. kill the men who did this. What? They're... No, I just saved the one dude who did it. I literally just saved the man who did that and let the other guy get away. Literally. It's Garrett. Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Carrot! Okay. Oh, I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! That's way too modern for a picture. <laughs> Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. That person was. This never hard. would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. It's your brother. Thank you, Maester. Oh, he's a Maester. Where's his chain? Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. There it is. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the Whitehills won't see it that way. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the Whitehills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? 
Ew. Dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. Yeah, greater houses as in the Roderick. Starks. Like, a serious just two man, seconds but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to deal with the loot. Uh, is that too big to be right. that was the loot? Uh, that was. This might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? <sighs> this game looks really good. I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. Only till see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh, only tell the uncle. I was gonna tell. That was a choice. I think to tell the maester. Go on. Don't stop oh, now. Which one's my fucking it's uncle? It's better though. to let the blood circulate. In case you're wondering, I'm the type of gamer that has to fucking look at everything and pick up everything. And explore. This mile. Oh, duh, I'll help with fucking healing herbs. Touch a bucket, yeah. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Cute. Whatever floats your boat, dude. Whatever floats your boat. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. I should probably give it to Lord Ethan. Wait, what was his name? Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. I hate how it There's sort of been enmity goes down. between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left, just as they've done before. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. Ooh, At the Citadel, I don't like Ethan? I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. <laughs> hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan. The circumstances of Lord my Forrester circumstances. Lord promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire. If that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. I thought so. Can I go now? 
I will avoid I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Your family got killed Me too. too. She looks way too much like Caitlyn. Come on. Off to bed now. Hurry on. With the scar was face. just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything... Rob Stark named him to lead the van for the march on Casterly Rock. A fitting tribute, no doubt. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask... I ain't fucking telling you. I told him I was going to tell him. Any last uncle. words before he passed? If you can remember. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you. I didn't Dad. avoid it. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Sneak away. This was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Well, duh. Garrett, you understand Snow. what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. He's when? right. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Edward Stark was smart. And look where that got him. Mm, so, Stark wasn't that what's smart. to be done? Don't look at me! <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough that Bolton's with the house and the swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. But I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk it. we cannot take. Oh, sir, way stronger than cannot you do. Stay. Cannot stay? Duncan. But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. The Grove? The North Grove? You're sending him to the wall. The wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Uncle. You can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I'll do what's asked of me. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it, then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. We haven't on much now. time. The White Hills will come looking for you. 
Let me tell him about the fucking North Grove. Dude. 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 What? What? Okay, I was gonna say. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you're not a criminal, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment okay, to tell I was going to fucking tell him. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. So yeah, right, I fulfilled my You dream. caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? No. This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I'm going to the I may need your help. I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. Is there some green seers? But don't bring Rares? a word of it to anyone at the wall. Well, what's that Become wall? a ranger if you can. It will help. Ooh. <sighs> Become a ranger if I can. Okay. Iron Let's from ice. Christ, quest. Iron from ice. Check. Remember, Become you represent House Forrester. Ranger. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll make you proud. You already have. Oh, already have. I'm so proud, son. They're F you, Uncle. Whatever. Wait, that guy died at the fucking. That was. Garrett, wait! Talia! Be safe. Tell you. She. Some cousin, non cousin. Say something to him, you dick. She's a beautiful old lady. Say something. Ethan, your dog. Uh, I'm Ethan. I couldn't find him. Could you? So, I'm Ethan. He hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. It's fucking hide and seek. game anymore. Oh. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me. Well done, Ryan. Behind a fucking don't tree. Worry. It's just a game, what Ryan. A little bitch. It's a game. I don't like it. It's he was worried you were gone. It's hiding. I thought he'd never sick. find you again. I'm right here. This kid. And I promise, wow. I'm not going anywhere. This kid's a bitch. I wish Mira was here, and Asha, and and Roderick. I do too, but Mira's in King's Landing, and can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. Is this supposed to be the Rickon? I don't want Ryan. to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. Maester oh, Miss Garrett. Ortengrin. He was nice. 
I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. I don't Who know. said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. <laughs> Sir Royland forgets himself. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What I does loot? milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. <laughs> Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... like a man. Like a man. He taught Roderick and Are these Asher, two? and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. They are siblings? Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the lord in training. And he never smiled anymore. And Asher... Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, <laughs> Promise just me for no. you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I may have to change. I'd rather have my brother than a lord. I like how they friend. tell me it's a sister. But... Since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. No, only if I tell would you. That simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. You have to understand. Being lord is a great responsibility. I can't just fool around. And you get fat, right? Thank you for that, Roderick. <laughs> Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. I'm needed in the Great Hall at once. Oh, <laughs> what's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay. For this family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. Well, come with me, Thomas. I'm not gonna... Like, really? Sister and brother... Wait, he. Th Royland went one way, and now Ethan's going the other way. What the. I don't. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is, was, it makes no difference. The White Hills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Well, Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Wait, now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already vassals? is. Or He's what? got five times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Lord Whitehill. Is that the guy I saved? Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. 
I've been waiting for this day all my life. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. You're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Suck my dick. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. <laughs> My apologies. Please forgive us. Forgive you? Not likely. Uh, even the no you foresters smoke. have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? <laughs> your man, the Squire. We were minding our own <laughs> business, keeping the King's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men, and a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name, and you are the Lord of this house. He was defending his family as any man would, but your men murdered them all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. <laughs> soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Is this guy Where's in the hat going to speak up or what? Killed my men. I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me! Who's the one who did it? I did. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have <laughs> my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What the fuck is this dude? What kind of fucking house is this? <laughs> A house of honorable men. <gasps> Ooh. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... <laughs> this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. Suck my cock, Lord Whitehill. I thought that was a bolt. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister can help us. Codex? Oh shit. Oh, this would have made. Why did. Oh. Ah, so many people. I'm gonna have to go through this codex. After. I take a meeting.